Hi everyone, we're going to find the equation of a circle by completing the square. Uh, don't forget a previous video we did simple introducing the circle with your uh, finding your H and K and uh, finding your radius and drawing the circle. So in this case we're giving an equation um, as such here and you should already know how to complete the square. This is good practice for you when we get into ellipses for the next video going to be a little more complicated so this is just good practice what we're going to do is form a perfect square trinomial by uh, grouping my x's together and by putting a box here and I'll show you what we're if you you know how to complete the square I hope um, if not I hope you get it from this video all right and I put a box here since I put two and I call them boxes instead of squares just to show we're not squaring it. So I'm going to put two more spaces here, or boxes, if you will. So what I'm going to do is take, uh, to complete the square, We the, recall, if this is a quadratic, um, to complete the square, you take the B portion, which is the 2 here for the X, and the 4 for the Y, and half it, and square it. So it's basically b over 2 squared. So remember that. So um, half of 2 is 1, and you square 1. 1 times 1 is 1. We're going to put it in both places. If I add 1 to this side of the equation, I have to add it to the other side. Half of 4, so basically what I'm doing is I'm 4 over 2 squaring, and I'm using this formula. So that's going to equal 4, because 2 squared is 4. You add it over here. Now, all I'm going to do is write this in simpler form. This is a perfect square trinomial. So this would be x plus, and you take half of the 2. Half of the 2 is 1 square. Now, I'm going to erase this, what I'm about to write. But all this means is when I have x plus 1 times x plus 1, and I foil this out, I get this right there. All right, so we're just shortening it. We're just simplifying it. And you'll see why in a minute. So this one, it's going to be y plus, you take the first operator, half of 4 is 2, and you just put 2. Again, if you wrote this out twice and put it out, um, you would get this um, y squared plus 4y plus. <coughs> now, I add this up, and I get 16 on the right side. Now, just by completing the square, I came up with my equation of the circle. I know my center is negative 1, comma, negative 2, and my r is 4. So negative 1, negative 2, and then my, my radius is 4. Is it 4 or 2? 4. So I go up 4. I go to the right 4, I go down 4, I go to the left 4, and I try to draw my circle. I have my center, and my radius is 4. All right, now I'm not going to draw any more except the very last one, but let's just practice on completing the square. So here we have 1, and I'm going to go a little faster. I'm going to group my x's together, which they're already kind of together here. I'm going to put those together and put my box, what I call the box. Put my box equals negative 40 plus, and I added two boxes on this side, so I'm going to add two more here. I have to squeeze it down here. Now I'm going to complete the square, so what I do is I take half of 14, which is 7. 7 squared is 49. So you put 49 on both sides. All right, and then we do the y portion. Half of 2 is 1. 1 squared is 1. So this side right here is going to equal 10. So it's 50 minus 40. Here I'm going to simplify this as x. Take that. Half of 7, I mean half of 14 is 7 squared plus y plus 
Half of 2 is 1 squared. All right, and that is your equation. And our center is negative 7, so center is negative 7, comma, negative 1. My radius is 10, or actually square root of 10. All right, in this case, our x is, uh, this is a little jumbled here. So I'm going to group my x's together, group my y's together, and I'm going to move my constant over here to the right. And I'm going to write this as x squared minus 10x plus my box plus y squared plus 8y plus box equals six, negative 16. So I'm subtracting 16 from both sides. Negative 16 plus my two boxes. Now I'm going to complete the square. Half of 10, and you're supposed to say negative 10. So it's negative 10 over 2 squared, which gives me negative 5 squared, which is 25. But I tend just to call it the tens because you have to when you square it, it's going to be positive anyway. Half of 8 is 4, square it, and you get 16. I'm erase this. All right. Um, my right side here, the 16s cancel. I'm left with 25. And I'm going to simplify my trinomial. It's x minus half of 10 is 5. <coughs> plus y. Take the operator you see. That's what you write. Half of uh, 8 is 4 squared. Your center is going to be 5 comma negative 4. And your r equals 5, because you take the square root of 25. All right, here's another one that's jumbled. And so I'm going to put it together. x squared minus 6x plus box plus y squared minus 12y plus box equals negative 36 plus box plus box, my two boxes. Half of 6 is 3 squared, and you get 9. See, I didn't really have to take the negative there. All right, half of 12 is 6 squared, and you get 36. So I'm going to put my 9 and 36 over here. My 36 cancels, and then I just simplify this. x minus half of 6 is 3. y, take that operator, minus... Half of 12 is 6, and then squared equals 9. So my center is 3, comma 6. My radius equals 9. So you just need some practice with this. And when you're done with conics, uh, completing the square is going to get a lot easier. All right, here we have one more. Um, so these are all pluses. I'll do this quickly. x squared plus 2x. What's going to go here? What's half of 2? 1 square 1. So I already have this portion. Um, then I have y squared plus 6y plus what goes here? Half of 6 is 3 squared, and you get 9. So I did that without putting boxes more mentally. Equals 26 plus, I have to add my 1 and my 9, plus 1 plus 9. And then I'm going to simplify this. So this is x plus half of 2 is 1 squared plus y plus um, the square root of, I mean, half of 6 is 3 squared equals 36. So my center is negative 1, negative 3, and my r is 6. Now, the last one I have is very simple, but a lot of my students have a problem with it. So I just wanted to show you all real quick. If you see something like this, all you're going to do is divide each piece by 3. And you're going to get x squared plus y squared equals 4. <coughs> this is like x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared equals 4. So my center is 0, 0, and my r is 2. So here it is. 
go up two, over two, down two, to the left two, and draw my circle. That's a circle at the origin. Okay? And that's all. The next thing we're going to go over is simple ellipses, where we're going to graph them. And then after that, we will do ellipses where we have to complete the square. Have a nice day.